G'day guys. So I fractured my wrist two days ago and I'm going to probably be in this cast for about six weeks. So obviously I won't be able to go to the gym and lift weights. I won't be able to get on my bike and ride. I won't be able to come to the pool and have a swim. The only thing I'll be able to really do is walk. So we thought we'd do a little experiment. What we're doing is we're coming to the gym today to cancel my membership. I'm going to weigh myself and what we're going to do is we're going to weigh myself again at the end of the six weeks when this cast just before it comes off and we're going to see what change in my weight if any there is because i'm going to continue to eat about 3,000 calories a day of whole plant foods vegan foods and um, we'll just see whether this calories in calories out model is uh really true or not nice little experiment so stay tuned that's your starting weight. So 32 bananas today. Here are the peels in the compost bin. It's around 3,200 calories. This is the normal number of bananas I eat when I have a raw day, irrespective of how much exercise I do. So this is breakfast. 10 bananas chopped up with passion fruit put on top. It's about 1,000 calories. Standard breakfast for me. So it's lunchtime, I've got about 10 bananas again, that's a thousand calories, and five dates with some water, that's another 350, so it's about 1,350 calories for lunch. So it's dinner time, and this is plate number one. Rice, lentils, potatoes, and mixed veg. And this is plate number two, exactly the same as the first, and I've been eating this with lettuce, which we encourage people to do. Good morning guys. So I just thought I'd take you on my morning walk so you can see how much exercise I'm doing. Let's go. So there you go guys, I walk down that hill and back up that hill and I do that about three, four or five times depending on how I'm feeling. So that's the exercise routine. So I'm halfway through the six week experiment and I thought I'd just have a look at chronometer. So you can see here I've put in the weight, it was 78.15 as you saw on the scale, my starting weight and chronometers rounded it up to 78.2 kilograms or 172.3 pounds. I've put in my height here, I'm 185 centimetres or 6 foot 1 inch tall. My body mass index is 22.8. So my basal metabolic rate is 1,824 calories. How many calories I need each day just to keep my body alive. Let's now have a look at my food diary. That typical raw till 4 day that you've just seen where I eat bananas during the day and then have a cooked meal at night. Uh, so they're the total calories from food. And then I've gone in and added my exercise. So these are the calories uh, expended during that walk. And if we have a look down here, this bit here is an estimate of calories burned from general activity not logged as exercises. So you burn some additional calories for light activity over your basal metabolic rate. So even watching TV, sitting at your desk or eating dinner does burn some calories. So I put that I'm lightly active in that regard. So what that does is it increases your basal metabolic rate by a factor of 0.2. So my weight goal was to maintain my weight. I've put in my uh, macronutrient targets here. 90% of my calories I want coming from carbohydrates, 5% from protein, and 5% from fat. If we go down here, da 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 da. So I consumed 3,513 calories from food on this particular day, which is, as I said, a very average day. Uh, and I've burned 2,428 calories. So as you can see here, I have a caloric surplus of 1,085 calories on this particular day. And as I said, this is very representative of my typical day during this six week period. So as you can see here, guys, Chronometer says that a pound of human fat tissue contains roughly three and a half thousand calories. Now, if my weight goal is to maintain my weight throughout this six week period, but I then go and eat a thousand calories a day more than I actually burn at the end of six weeks, which is 42 days, 
I will have consumed 42,000 surplus calories. If we divide that 42,000 by 3,500 calories, I will have gained 12 pounds. Now I can tell you I'm three weeks into this experiment, in which case I should have already gained six pounds because I'm halfway. And I'm quite sure, although I haven't weighed myself, that I have not gained six pounds, let alone any weight at all. To put that 12 pounds into kilograms, it's five and a half kilograms. So if I started at 78.15 kilograms and I gain five and a half kilograms in that six weeks, I should weigh 83.65 kilograms at the end of the six weeks. So it'll be very interesting to see what the number on the scales actually shows. We're in the same clothes. Okay, same scale. Now remember, Chronometer said that by consuming 1,000 surplus calories a day for 42 days, that I should gain 12 pounds or five and a half kilos. So how is it possible that I didn't gain any weight at all? Because the calories in, calories out paradigm is built on the false assumption that all calories are created equal. And three of the main ways that not all calories are created equal are... This is simply the number of calories burned metabolizing your food. The science shows that the most number of calories are burned after a high carbohydrate meal. So, want to burn more calories for free? Then eat more carbs. This is the rare process by which excess carb calories are converted to fat and stored in the body. The science shows that this highly inefficient process burns so many of those excess carb calories that eating excess carb calories does not contribute significantly to body fat or weight gain. So, contrary to propaganda, Carbs don't make you fat. Whole plant foods are high in fiber, whilst animal foods have no fiber. The science shows that fiber intake is inversely associated with body weight and body fat, and that the diets lowest in fiber are popular low carb diets, such as the Atkins and South Beach diets, including the Paleo and I Quit Sugar fad diets. Put simply, the more fiber you eat, the more bowel movements you have, and therefore the less waste and weight you accumulate. So as you can see from the science, not all calories are created equal. Therefore, rather than focusing on calories in, calories out, instead focus on the source of calories. And the best source of calories come from a high carbohydrate, low fat, whole foods, plant-based, vegan diet with a macronutrient ratio of 80-10-10 or 95-5. Eat as many of these types of calories as you care for and long term you'll be able to maintain your optimal weight for life even if you get injured and your physical activity is limited like mine was. And I'm not just a one-off either. Natasha for example had a shoulder injury last year, which kept her from physical activity for about two and a half months. When she finally returned to the gym, everybody at the gym said, oh, have you been going to a gym elsewhere? They'd asked her that because she looked exactly the same after two and a half months of not having done any gym or physical activity because her diet remained the same. This works for everybody long term because this is the diet that human beings were designed physiologically and anatomically to eat. Look at traditional cultures in Africa and Asia eating their traditional diets. They're all lean. And what do their traditional diets consist of? Carbohydrates. Rice, corn, quinoa, potatoes, fruits, vegetables. Only when they start adopting the standard Western diet do they blow out? What we've heard for years from many of our yoga students who are overweight is, I used to be active and not overweight, but then I got injured and I wasn't able to do anything for a few months and I gained 5, 10, 15, 20 kilograms. I wanted to do this experiment to demonstrate that blaming your injury for weight gain is just an excuse. 
Because the real reason people gain weight is because of what they're eating, not how much they're eating or not how little they're exercising. Change the source of your calories and you will change your results. So now that you've seen this video, you have two choices. Choice number one is that you continue to believe in the calories in, calories out theory and you can continue to create a caloric deficit and or exercise excessively and you'll continue to get the same results that is you'll lose weight then you'll binge because you've been restricting your calories and then you'll regain the weight and your weight will continue to yo-yo up and down like this for the rest of your life. Option number two Take on board my personal experiment backed by the science that I've shown you and adopt a high carb, low fat, whole foods, plant based vegan diet. And you can eat as much of those calories as you like without having to restrict them and you don't have to exercise excessively and you will long term maintain your optimal weight. I think the choice is pretty clear but ultimately it's up to you. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you've enjoyed this experiment and that it's helped you to rethink the calories in, calories out theory. What's your experience with calories in, calories out? Post your comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share and subscribe and we'll see you next video. Bye for now.